What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to Blasphemous. So, first thing we're gonna do... Uh, thought it was this guy, but yeah, here we go. Must Thank you for the tears. So, we're actually gonna go this way. Now, I was trying to figure out where to go, but this game has so much obscure shit going on um, that I outright just Googled. I was like, you know, weird sparkly things. And apparently, <laughs> it was all the fucking way back at the start. So you may remember, I bought a key. Oh, God damn it! get off of me. Get off of me, swamp monsters. Wheel bro, stop it. Um, but you may remember I bought a key a long, long time ago. This thing, right? Key to the chamber of the eldest brother. Um, I thought that key was like for a boss room or something. No, it was not for a boss room. It is for something all the way back at the start of the game that I likely would have never gone and done. God, out of my way, you shitters. here this thing this mysterious door that we passed that was totally obscure that I was not aware of anymore now we got that that lets us jump on those weird bloody ledges and then from here it's just a super fucking obscure side quest that I Probably could have figured out with enough time being played, but... Yeah, look at that. Holy shit, we can get so many things now. that painted wood bead. Uh, recovers health when destroying objects. It sounds cool, but I would need more rosary beads to take that over one of the things I have. poison areas, but first I'm going to get another traversal relic. <clears throat> I'll say there's a lot more to this game than I realized. Those rooms. So much to do. The boss. Oh, that was the free room. It's the boss room. Which, if nothing else, this will allow me to farm up the, uh... 
stuff that I need so that I can actually, uh... Get fucked. Look at that, there's a blood thing right there. Fucking way, Jesus. That thing you saw up there is another thing we're gonna get soon. No, I take it back. This game is just like Dark Souls because the level of obscurity in this crazy ass quest. Like one of the items I found, one of them I had to buy, the other I had to buy a key. Go all the way back. To get some shit. Oh my god, what the Instant fuck is this? Silence. Three sisters became as one. This egg conceals something of ours that still remains immaculate. That is fucking weird. Three face bearded lady. Okay, and then there was uh that room. That room I wanted to hit up too. Oh, oh. Just go up a little and then over. So I haven't looked up anything past uh, what we're doing right now, but with the blood and the thing we're about to get, I would imagine that we can. We'll have probably full traversal. way out of this bitch. Oh, honestly, the fastest way out of this is going to be doing this. So we are down in the middle of nowhere, so we'll just die. We'll spawn. We'll do it that way. You can always pay to have that forgiven. I think it's worth the, the time we'll save running. Straight up and then Then we gotta revisit Fireland and do parts of this that we didn't do before.
That's why we get full fervor. Here, place the egg, given the egg of deformity. Now something's supposed to happen here. Egg of deformity. And then, yeah, we'll go this way. Oh man, this is a lengthy ass obscure quest. I mean, you don't need to do this, too. I think it's important to mention that. Like, this isn't, you know, I don't, I don't, it doesn't even get you, like, extra bosses or anything, but. Right, this goes all the way underneath. Um, it does give you another traversal thing. So we got the blood. We can now go through poison. Like having that blood, dude, that's there's so much shit we can do with that now. We got a free bile vessel. Fucking bile vessel. Is there a blood place to heal up with bile vessels? I think that is that's not. Let's, I gotta go to. No, that's Fountain. Where do I fill up? Chapel of Travel, make Culpa Altar, Guilt Per Diem, Confessor. I think I had to use the fountains to fill up. I don't know. My hit you, you come over here. for the monks. Okay, culpa, fast travel, knots. Okay, that's right, we got the uh, sin, sin guy here. Having to run all the way out of the bottom of that place is totally worth a $400 payment. Alright, now we're gonna up. And from here, get back to Albero. Far, I could just fast travel. Didn't I pick up and did I pick up a nosery? Rosary knot? Did. Well, then while I'm here. Hello, ghost lady. Hey, okay, that's good. Um, 
What do I want to put in there? Like that. Like that. Then my final slot will be... F I'll do... Uh, I want that on. So, poison, lightning, don't know what that does. Recovery. Tears and destroying an object. Health. Let's do, let's do the tears. Wait, did I put on the tears or health? I did put on the tears. Okay. That. Have this take us back to... Alberto. Albero. Probably want the thing I brought, yep. Yeah, it's my it's enough tears that I can finally grab a uh, a new upgrade. Do that. And finally, now that we have gotten the blood to reach the gold, to give the gold, to get the offering, to get the egg, to place the egg, to hatch the egg, to repick up the egg, to get the deformed egg, we can come all the way over here and give this thing. Now we have. You have been in the name of the high wheels. We have a thing and the three gnarled tongues. Bring me in. <sighs> and with that, we can now see roots. So now we can see roots. We can get through poison, and we can hop over the little blood bridges. Whew! It's a lot of bullshit. Okay, uh, so now that that's done. Now that all that's done, it's time to revisit. Stop hurting yourself. It's time to revisit areas. Um, since we're already in Albedo, we'll just go up top first. So I know poison area up top that should be pretty fast to reach if I remember blood fountains I'm trying to remember where there was a really easy to access blood fountain there's one there there's one there I'll probably get this one since I have to go back to the desecrated cistern anyway It's better than dealing with that bullshit. And it's so close, but that area sucks. Anything else there? Looks like there's a path that goes up. I might be able to investigate that as well. But I'm not entirely sure. How you like me now? Yeah, your miasma don't do fuck. I see you there. Don't worry. What you got? Heart of the saltpeter blood. Attack damage is increased when penitent one is close to death. Uh, yeah, no, that's going to be a hard pass for me. Though, you know, that could actually be useful if you think about it. Like, you know, you're in a boss fight and you're like getting towards the end of the fight and you're like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Ah, just that little bit of attack damage. I've never been a fan of, of, uh, Tear stone effects, though. Like the red tear stone ring and Dark Souls or attack powers boost when you're almost dead. Because ideally, I don't want to be in a state where I'm almost dead.
Okay. How do I get over there? protection against flames it just further further confirms uh, my initial theory that you were probably supposed to go to poison land and get that shit first before coming here There was a thing that was locked. This is the room that has something above it that I can't access. A culpa statue. Oh, over here. That as well. Uh, devastating attack faster or performs an upward slash combo. Uh, I kind of want to use this. Holy Wrath thing. If it makes it faster, let's see. Yeah, that... That might be worth it. It might be. There's a room above me. Item is... Alright, so I still have the oil. Haven't done the oil thing yet. There was that little room that had a... Where was it at? No, this area looks done besides the oil. I'm trying to remember how to get to that one room I saw. Hmm. I don't see it. I remember there was a area with a thing a relic or something that was stuck in a cage. Go. Um, let's just head down. I can drop to the bottom and then haul ass. Yo, I just fell on that guy and he died. Stop making poison. Nobody, or not poison lava. Nobody likes you. That's the point here. Nobody likes you and you're fucking lava. You know, it's very cathartic to come here and just absolutely murder fest all of these guys after the amount of bullshit I put up with in this area before. Now I'm just like, you're dead, lol, you can't beat me. It's like the start of a new game plus and souls when you're massively overpowered for the low level areas and you're just dunking on everything. So satisfying. There's a little spot there, but I don't think that's anything. That. So we want to go. Let's see. Thinking I get down to here. Albero. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Do that. And we'll go over here and check that out. This was the ceremony. That area is mapped. That area is mapped. So the only thing we don't know really is the oil. And there was that, that one area that was caged that I, I don't remember how to get to, but that's not a big thing. There's that thing too, but I don't I don't know what to do about that. Um So anyway, we're we're gonna have at least another uh at least one other part that focuses on kind of catching up and re-exploring areas now that we have the full means of traversal. So we will wrap this one up here. 
and continue on in the next part with more.